Race three is the Stu Grey Maiden. It's a one mile three year old race for just the Colts and the Gillens. It's a big feel for I think it's the only three year old one mile maiden race of the week. So there's no wonder there's a big feel for it. At the top, we've got Aeolus for Martellino, Al Capone for Adam Old. Nice to see Adam back. Aquila for Rod McGill. Cloth Cap for Graham Clinton. Kumba for Leon Van Rensburg. Crazy Horse, Daniel French. Edge of Silence, Jim Murray. Glass Conti, Thomas Rogers. Hexa for Craig Allen, Houston Time, John Morgan, Lazy Lacey, Obi Wan, Medina Spirit, Dan Hughes, Meridian Master, Vinny Gerard, Mick Eager for Hollywood Hinton, Oakland Raider for Matt Cooper, Pozzello de Zarzon, Darren Thompson, Sabusa Burma, David Robertson, Starman, Joshua Sullivan, Tom Bombadil for Satya and Walk This Way for Paul Rhodes, Big Phil, but it's a straight track, no worries, they're way and racing. And down this near side Coombra looks like it's going to be one of the first to show but doesn't appear all that keen to lead and has now been overtaken by a walk this way Houston tight at the centre of the trap and nothing seems all that keen to put any pace into this race at the moment and they're going at a bit of a crawl and Coombra's got back into the lead again so Coombra down this near side is just about in front Hector in the green and the yellow at the centre of the track down this near side again is walk this way in the orange the black and the red hoops of stamina also to the four, so down this near side they seem to be a good three lengths clear of the ones over on the far side and they're headed by Mick Eager, but it's Coombra who's in front Coombra is in front by two lengths Mick Eager may have come through in a second, there's a couple of greys chasing him, Cloth Cap is one of them, the other one is Pablo de Zazan looking towards about Lazy Lacey, he's just about the back marker, I think Meridian Mass has also got a lot of work to do, but it's Coombra who's in the lead with three and a half to go, now bursting through up the centre of the track, right over on the far side is Sabusa Burma in those Purple and turquoise hoops, the two greys now coming through. Pazella, the Zazon and Cloth Cap, Edge of Silence is also trying to get into it. And Gloss Hunt is also coming through as well now with a strong looking run. Edge of Silence for Jim Murray is throwing down a challenge as well. They've got less than two to go. And it's Coombra in the lead. Edge of Silence up the centre of the track with Glass Conti and then Ryder on the far side. It's a boost of Burma, but it's still just Coombra in front. Coombra being challenged again by Edge of Silence. Edge of Silence and Coombra split across the track. Also, say it's a boost of Burma. It's Edge of Silence. Edge of Silence is in the lead and he's holding on from Sabusa Burma and the far side haven't got it it's Edge of Silence and Sabusa Burma people in the stars on it in third but it's close as they flash back to the post I think Edge of Silence might just have held on in the angle it's difficult to always tell the one side can look to be further in front than you think it looks like Sabusa Burma on the angle there, but you can see it isn't. It's Edge of Silence that's taken it. So it's Edge of Silence, the winner for Jim Murray. Sabusa Burma for David Robertson, second. And the third place horse has momentarily disappeared. I think it was Pabuela de Zazon. Hopefully it'll come back. It was indeed Pabuela de Zazon for Darren Thompson. Glass Conti for Thomas Rogers was fourth. And Meridian Master for Vinnie Gerard was fifth.